Hi everyone. In this video, I would like to talk about PowerShell and the benefits of using PowerShell in the Citrix environment. So what exactly is PowerShell? So PowerShell is a tool that we have uh, on all Windows operating systems. It could be Windows Server 2008 R2 or 2012 or 2012 R2 or 2016 or 2019 or any other Windows operating system. You have this Windows PowerShell. So when it comes to PowerShell in the Citrix environment, this will be very useful to do certain tasks if you want to create some policies if you want to debug some things if you want to troubleshoot some things or if you want to check the status of the services in the citrix environment most importantly if you want to automate certain things powershell will be very very useful in the citrix environment okay so in this video i'm going to uh, run some commands you on powershell to check the status of the services we're going to perform some basic health checks in the citrix environment so if you want to create some policy, just for an example, if you want to make some changes or create some policies using Citrix Studio, you can definitely do it. But using Windows PowerShell, you can reduce a lot of time. If, if you want to create a policy using Citrix Studio Console, it might take five to 10 minutes time, just for an example. But if you use Windows PowerShell, you can do it in a couple of minutes. So this is, this is going to save a lot of time for you. Now I'm going to open Windows PowerShell and I'm going to run certain commands okay the very first thing once you launch windows powershell what you need to do is you need to activate citrix commandlets if you don't activate citrix commandlets you know you cannot run citrix related commands you will run only windows related commands so if you want to activate citrix related commands on the desktop delivery controller or controller open windows powershell and type asnp citrix type a star and hit enter it's asnp space citrix star hit enter so once you type asnp space citrix and hit enter citrix commandlets will be activated now you would like to check the status of the services in the citrix environment okay so you have broker service configuration login service okay config service so i'll, I'll, I'll launch services here so these are the services Okay, these are the services you have Citrix broker service, analytic service, configuration service, configuration logging service, host service, licensing service. You have all the services. You can check, you can check from uh, you know services console. But if you would like to check the status of the services using PowerShell, because PowerShell would have uh, you know like more apt information and also you can check things clearly like if you want to check the status of the unregistered machines if you want to check the status of the registered machines like if you want to see how many machines are in idle state all these things you can simply check using windows powershell now asnp citrix is the very first thing that you need to do to activate windows i mean citrix commandlets once you do do that what you need to do is if you want to check the status of the broker service okay get type get hyphen broker service status okay it's get hyphen broker service status hit enter okay so once you hit enter the status the output should be okay if the output is okay it means that the broker service is up and running fine without any issues if it fails then you need to troubleshoot you need to check why the services failed okay now you want to uh you want see you, you you want to check this you want to you want to find out what are the services that are present on this controller citrix related services what you can do is you can type get hyphen help type services okay it's get hyphen help services and hit enter so once you type get hyphen help services you will see all citrix related services get hyphen acct service status get hyphen broker service status admin service status hypervisor service status okay uh, storefront service status trust service status so you found you now you know what are the services that are present on this control now what you can do is you can run the commands one after the other okay you can simply run the commands one after the other but it is going to take some time see here if you see you have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten maybe close to 13 service if you want to check the status of the service one after the other it is going to take some time because you need to copy you need to paste it and you need to hit enter and if you want to check the status of all the services you need to run one after the other and it is going to take some time now what I'm going to do is I'm going to share a command with you which can be useful to check the status of all the services in a minute. Okay, I'll share one command with you which is get hyphen command. Okay, get hyphen command space get hyphen 
okay star service status okay get hyphen unique close this okay type select name select name so if you remember this command you can easily check the status of all the services now I'm, I'm going to execute this command and show you what is going to happen okay i'm going to bring this up okay it's get hyphen command get hyphen star service status get unique select name i'm going to hit enter i'm hitting enter now now if you see it will show the list of all services okay you will see the list of all services all you need to do is you need to just copy this copy everything right click paste it here that's it so you see what happened it is showing the status of all these services okay the st service status is okay okay everything is okay so you can save a lot of time you can check the status of all the services by running this simple command now so these are the basic health checks that you use that you do in this citrix environment so checking checking the status of the services is the most common you know health check that you do in the citrix environment now let's say you want to find out you are a citrix administrator you want you are curious now you want to check the uh, you want to check how many controllers you have in the citrix environment so just type get hyphen broker controller and hit enter okay this will list out all the controllers that you have in the citrix environment okay so so this is my controller machine name next to the machine name this is one controller and next to the machine name i have another controller because i have two controllers in my environment so i'm using it for load balancing purpose so it will list out all the controller details and on which uh, you know uh, what is the current version and uh, you know on which version of operating system it is running if you see here it is windows 2012 r2 so you can check all these things all right so uh, i hope you find this uh, information helpful so this powershell is uh, very useful especially when you you know mm, when you have a lot of experience working as citrix admin and once you if you if you want to automate certain things in the Citrix environment, you will start using PowerShell more and more. Maybe when you work as Citrix uh, level three, you will be handling a lot of things. So this can this can be very handy and useful to save a lot of time and to meet the customer requirements. OK, I hope you find this uh, information helpful. Thank you for watching. If you like it, please like and subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye.